been involved with the University District Alliance. And the University District Alliance is um, something that has come about in the last uh, a little over three years. It started out as a um, an offshoot of the um, work that was done with regard to the new stadium um, and the environmental impact of the stadium in general. And uh, when that uh, was being um, considered by the legislature, they in turn came back to the university and the city of Minneapolis and asked that there be an impact uh, report made about what is the impact of the university on the surrounding community. And um, that resulted in a, a task group being set up by the state advisory group to uh, uh, look into and prepare that report. I happen to be on that, that committee, and that's going, I don't know how many years ago now, but um, the, uh, the, that study resulted in something called uh, a report to the legislature called Moving Forward Together um, the, uh, and the impact of the university on the, on the uh, communities around the Minneapolis campus. The result of that report was that the legislature then uh, directed that uh, the community and the university and the city form an alliance to deal with the issues that were raised in, in the impact report. And uh, that alliance then became the University District Alliance. So that resulted in a, um, a number of projects that the alliance took on. One of them was specifically to um, design a, uh, a demonstration project for the legislature at their request about what are the many ways that we can try to deal with this problem um, to reverse the trend or to uh, create a, a, a more livable environment around the university for people other than just students. And um, in addition to that, the Alliance took on a couple of other projects. One of them was a um, project to envision what what the university district uh, you know, really uh, how that is expected to develop, let's say, in the next uh, decade or so, uh, in light of um, not only trends in, in student housing, but trends in um, the overall demographics that are expected to occur in the next couple of decades. Uh, higher uh, uh, number of residents in uh, this area of the city, um, shifts toward uh, aging populations and all the rest of that. How does that, um, how, how is the uh, university district going to deal with those those issues and what are our aspirations for the future? So for that, we engaged each of the neighborhoods in a, in a planning process that's going on for, for three and a half years now that um, I think has brought neighborhoods together at least thinking in the, in the same way about how these issues will unfold. Thank you.